All right, hey, welcome back to Guitar Gathering. It's been a little while since I made a video, but uh, today I wanted to show you something that's uh, newer to me, and that's doing a wet-dry rig using my Line 6 HX uh, Stomp XL pedal. So I'll walk you through what my little signal path is here. Uh, this is using two amps. This is not using the line six as the, you know, the second amp to do that. This MGL has uh, an effects loop, but I'm not using it for the purposes of showing this. What I have here is the Bray Low One. And what this does is it connects between your amp and your speaker. It just passes right through and it takes a line out from that signal. So you get your actual amp tone and you send that off to your uh, to your effects unit so we'll go over and uh, take a look at that this little button here um it's just a level and if you need a if you need to lift the ground you can pop it up and it switches where the uh, where the ground is if you're getting some kind of excessive hum not an issue here so let's see what uh, it's set up like at the board all right here's the effects so the guitar comes into the wah goes through a couple of drive pedals and into the HX Stomp XL right here. From the Bray, it's coming into a return on the right and the dry signal from the guitar in is going right to the front of the amp right here. This is going out to a small amplifier and it'll only take the reverb and the delays or whatever other effects I put on this particular path. So here you can see what I have for effects and I'll show you where they're, uh, where they're set up here. So here's how this all works. You have your main input coming in here. I put a split and send 100% of the guitar traffic to the top path. And then on the bottom, I put a block in for the return. This is from the beret. So this is 100% dry signal coming in here, then goes through a delay. Up top I have a boost in front of the amp, and then down here, uh, again for the effects path, uh, a plate reverb. And up top, you know, other effects that go out, and that goes to the front of the amp right there. Down here, another mixer, and an output uh, from the send. So this is the output here, and that goes to uh, a really tiny little uh, purple wind amplifier, and I'll show you that next. All right, the send then just goes into this little tiny purple wind uh, amplifier right into the uh, FX return on this amp. Nothing on the front works. It was literally just the power section, and it's plugged into this. 112 cab. So the way that I set it up there in the line six, what comes to the purple wind is just the delay and the reverb. And it makes a huge difference. It's, it's uh, huge sounding. So let me uh, give you an idea what it sounds like. All right, here's the dry sound of the amplifier. <laughs> Put on a little reverb. Thanks for watching.